I'm Carol Frost, Professor of Geology and Geophysics at the University of Wyoming. We're standing here at Vitavu, an area that's composed of granite. This granite, as you'll notice, is pinker than many others, and it forms in an unusual um, geologic context. These, as I say, are 1.43 billion years old. Many years ago, this is well before we had fossils that were preserved well in the rock record, this rock formed by crystallization of magma deep underneath the earth. So for those of you who are interested in identifying the minerals in the Sherman granite, you'll need to pick up a rock or look perhaps along the base of one of the boulders where the lichen hasn't yet covered them up, up the minerals. And what you'll see are three colors of light minerals. There'll be a glassy clear one, that's the quartz, a white feldspar and a pink feldspar. This granite is called the Sherman granite. It was named for the ghost town of Sherman that was located on the crest of the Union Pacific Railroad between Cheyenne and Laramie. We're now standing in front of Turtle Rock, which is in the center of the Vitavu area. And I think you can see behind me a band bumps, remnants of a dark basaltic magma that was injected into the granite magma chamber. And when it came in, it turned into blobs, kind of like the blobs in a lava lamp. Now this rock that I have here is similar to what those bumps look like when you get up close. And you can tell that the rock is much darker. You can see that it certainly is darker than the main Sherman granite. But it's not as black as you would expect a basalt to be. For instance, when you go to the uh, mountains in Hawaii and look at those basalt flows, those are pretty much totally black. The Wyoming State Geological Survey brings school children here to learn about the geologic time scale, geologic processes, and to identify minerals and rocks. Itavu, it's world famous uh, to geologists. People enjoy the climbing, hiking. You know, this area provides so many great opportunities for recreation.